Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from the Automator, and we had a couple really, really interesting things. I think you're gonna love this video. Um, V2 got a major update. Uh, go ahead, Isaias. Let's, let's talk about the changes that came with the most recent version of uh, the V2 actual released, you know, um, version. Right. So um, Lexicos has been working on 2.1, so he's working on some features, but at the same time, he's fixing a few things for V2.0, right? Which is where we are right now. And he picks many, um, I would say, niche problems. But one of them that we actually definitely saw happening to some of our code was when we were trying to get the position of a GUI. If that GUI had an owner window or it had DPI scale, the positioning was really off. It was weird. So it seems to be fixed by uh, 2.0.12, which is the latest version released actually today. And... Um, Great. I haven't tested it yet. I will take a look at it and see if that fixes the issue that we were having. I assume so, but I have to double check. After that, we do have a few more fixes. Well, quite a few. Yeah. But that, that right. the like fourth with the one in the red jacks with them, anything that when I see memory leak, um, yeah, it's like, this. Out. like, hey, and we do a fair amount of red jack stuff, right? So, right. It's so, definitely good to incorporate that. Right. And uh, that what fixes is when your program starts growing in memory as you try to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And the more you do them, the more memory it takes. Right. Because right. what should happen is that after the regex finishes, the memory should be released and your program size goes down mm -hmm. in memory. But somehow there was a problem there. It has been fixed. A lot of fixes for the send command, I've noticed, like um, when send input is not releasing some keystrokes correctly, um, when these other some race conditions and you know releasing the wrong the wrong thing stuff like that so if you use the send command very often uh, you might see some improvement there as well and uh, yeah go ahead well what I was going to say was because it's not mentioned here at all right but you and I discussed it um, a, a week or two ago I forget how long ago but Descalada was working on some stuff with um, was it hot strings or um, sending of the sending hot strings the, yes the, yeah and, that was a side note, and I forget what that was, but he Lexicos seemed at least interested, but not ready to implement because he's like it might lead to other issues as well. well that is correct. Like that that yeah. is correct. He hasn't included. He didn't want to include that one modification that this clarity, not because it was bad. Right. It's because there were some potential issues that he didn't want to deal with. Yeah, which, which is uh, a good sign, right? Yeah, which is one of those things when we talk on the hero groups. People often come up with an idea and you're like, there's a lot of other things that, you know, are our clients as well when they're doing stuff. And we're like, that change you're saying might have other ramifications that you're not really thinking through. And so we're we're much more cautious, right? On right. some of the stuff. And that's where the more advanced it is helpful to have a daddy figure like over you <laughs> that knows what they're doing and goes, Hey, hey, you know, yeah, very good idea. Yeah, like yeah. good good idea, but right. you know, right. but that's well, basically what happened yeah, there, yeah. Think about what's great about that is because Lexicos, you know, and you often too with our clients, can see it ahead of time. Think about how much time that saves people, right? Because Dex Scalata could have been spending hours and hours and out weeks probably, you know, like just coding, and then realize later, oh, crap, this is going to, oh, crap, this broke this. Oh, crap, in, in Le <laughs> yeah. Lexicos, because of his knowledge, it's like, yeah, that, you know, this is not why I love the hero group is... <laughs> We save, not only do we put you in the right direction, but we can point out things that maybe you didn't think about. Like the other day with Scott, with his code of he was sending keystrokes, which worked fine on his computer. And there's nothing wrong with like doing that on your computer. But when you give it to other people, like, ooh, you know. Now you have to take into account certain things. And now Lexicos has a lot of motivation of saying no to a lot of things because uh, ultimately the one who is going to be fixing the box is him. So you create a new feature but right. at the end, the one who is going to be fixing the bugs is him. Yeah. So every time you try to give it a new feature for auto hockey or something, he might be really cautious and thinking about what well, his workload is going to be after that change, right? It's funny because because some hero members like Dale and Connie um, and Ray, too, they'll, they'll be like, hey, in Prompt Assistant, it'd be cool if we could do this. And and you're like, well, I could do that. And I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Like, like, like part like, of it is I want up, that I want it simple, right? That's the whole point of Prompt Assistant is simple. However, 
The other one is, which you know, is as the more things you add, the more things can go wrong, right? That is correct. So, so anyway, let's get back to the, the point of this, because we have some really, really fascinating news coming up here in a minute. Right. Now, let's, the let's, next touch on, let's touch on, hold on. Oh, you're you're already here? Okay, that's fine. Let, let's cover this one. No, well, I was going to say, just, on yeah. the, let's talk about the 2.1 real quick, because right. Oh, right wow, now, yeah. the main version is 2.0 with whatever instance you're running of it, right? right. 2.1 is, is coming down the pike in the right. one. If you've watched our video on the, some, what's it called? Symbiotic, some... Sem semantic version. Semantic, <laughs> I can never remember that. Um, you'll understand, hey, that's new features, new functionality, and possibly could break things. Is that right? Right. That is correct. And then the, the point here is that um, this 2.1, what it means is new features are coming. One of those, like I have been waiting for that for a long time, is yeah, the right. setting the cues to edit yeah. boxes and control boxes. And that means... For example, when you have this yep. uh, temporary text that is there, that when you click, it goes away. That's what a queue is in this case. And we, what I just showed you was some code that I kind of like manually created myself, right? But now it's coming into our in. 2.1 as a built-in right. functionality. Right. So I'll be great. able to do it. <laughs> Everybody will be able to do it. So now in any case, um, that's what 2.1 means. There's a lot of great things coming to 2.1. Uh, very advanced stuff, most of them. So we're not going to go over them right now. But basically, I, that's what said that, here. Yeah. That's the thing. Like Dale, another hero member, he switched to 2.1 because it had certain functionality that he really that he wanted. Needed. Yeah. Right. And, and If I remember was, right, it was the menu. It had something to do with the menus. I remember that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it was something that the, the menu when you... Sh when you were showing a menu, um, they were kind of like locking auto hotkey completely. Here it goes. And um, what happens is it, whenever you show the menu, everything was stalling the whole auto hotkey right. script right. and you couldn't do right. anything else. Right. And then he, we, we discussed it in one of our hero calls. Oh, you know what? I just saw that the 2.1 alpha one had that fixed. And he was like, let me check it out. And as soon as he did that, like, Fix all my problems. Right. Great. You know, that's coming soon for everybody. But right now, still 2.1 oh. is in alpha stages. So, yeah. And, and we know in alpha stages, things can change. Right. And we don't, we can't be build, developing stuff and then have the OS, not the OS, but the underlying thing change on us and have to go redo code. So that's why one of the reasons why, yeah, you can get new features and functionality. But at the same time, if something changes on you, it's up to you to go yeah. update everything and, you know, Right. That's the reason why we uh, stay away from alpha for client work and stuff like that. Because, exactly. for example, right here, set queue is a method. That's what it's built as. But at any point during the alpha stages, he can say, you know what? That shouldn't be a method. That should be a property. Would and then he changes it. And then your code breaks because he changed yeah. that. So and would you agree with those this, things? Would you agree with this statement? On average, not necessarily even just with auto hotkey, but new functionality and features that are brought into a given, you know, um, instance are usually things that are available that someone's figured out how to do outside of it manually. And the, the main developer go, Hey, that is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Is that. That's uh, basically, yeah, that, that's a fair assumption in there. Like many, many programs. And I've seen this in many other um, um, languages programs that I use that they see that users are doing some particular thing outside right. of the program and they say, hey, that sounds you know, like a cool feature and the, let's incorporate it. It's it's kind of like you're selling on Amazon as a private label and then Amazon's like, hey, that is a pretty cool thing and they borrow your design and make it and sell it as their own and then you're screwed. <laughs> Definitely, right. So uh, at this point, the latest version for 2.0 is 0.12, which means that there were some bug fixes but no new features added. And then Lexicos finishes up with the alpha is gonna go to beta, right? So then that's what many people kind of like know of, the beta stage of a program. That's when they're testing features and stuff like that. So alpha, in alpha stage, um, Lexicos is working on it, actively working on it and tested it in his machine. And beta version is, let's release it to the people yeah. and see how it works on their computers. 
No, um, some people ironically. just decide to use the alpha one just to test it. Right? Yeah, ironically, uh, version two was an alpha for how long? Yeah, <laughs> like a long, long, almost long 10 years, time. actually. Yeah, yeah, it was like 10 years in alpha years, states, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And then that's why you and I were like, yeah, whatever. And then all of a sudden it went in the beta, like, hey, I might be doing this. And he switched it. And we're like, what? What? Um, <laughs> And then yeah. it was released, like it was the actual release in no time. And we're like, holy cow. Um, so no, anyway, quick, right? <laughs> yeah. So, we're, it's, so it's interesting to see that he's moving the 2.1, <laughs> not at a snail. It seems to be faster. It, it looks faster because the latest version he uh, released was in, in December yep. last year, right? Yeah. So about two months. And he's still, I, I can see the code and I have seen him very active on that so soon we might get an alpha nine or something again, like that so we're not in any way complaining lexicos if you're watching this <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. no so, so um then let's move to v1 because v1 yeah, also agreed. received an, an update um yeah. again it was also about about bug fixes so we will still on 1.1.37 point zero one that's the, la the latest one we had was this right here mm -hmm. and now, recently, a few days ago, he pushed the 37.02. Again, whenever you see the last number changing, it's mostly fixing stuff. And, but, and this is the part that you said, like there's some interesting news about that. Well, yeah. B1 is no longer actively being maintained. And actually, the reason, I think the reason why he went ahead and fixed this is because he broke it. He broke it on 37.00. Then he decided, oh, if I'm going to fix that, let me fix this and then let me fix that. And then let me push that one. But right. if you look at the post that he made in AutoHotKey announcements, right? So if you go to the forums in the AutoHotKey announcements, he clearly stated that V1 is no longer to be maintained. And that was a few days ago, he says, after 0 0.2 released today, that's going to be my final update to V1. And he says, I do not intend to accept pull requests. That means if you code something for V1 and tell him, can you merge it? He's not going to accept them, right? right? And he's not going to be fixing bugs or implement nothing himself for V1. And But he says, what, what happens with open source, if you want to create your own version of V1 and then you continue, I don't do it. So, so he's not going to stop you from maintaining v1 he's not yep. going to stop you from adding new features but he's just telling you yeah just fork it and work with it yourself right and, and it wouldn't at all surprise me if someone like g's wig or even tank for that matter or somebody or, um, would still update bug fixes and possibly export backport some new feature at, you know that i've seen g's wig been doing a lot of stuff before um, and Jesus might take this. I haven't talked to him. I, I've never talked to him, but I, we've emailed. Um, he might take it as a, hey, now I can. Because Lexicos would often say, hey, yeah, no. I don't care for <laughs> what you're doing here. Right now, he could just make up his own and say, well, I'm going to have my version. And since Lexicos isn't doing it anymore in V1, people might switch to his. Right. So or whoever. Right. That's a, that's a good question. Like, how, what, what will happen? Like, do you think that should stay like then in, on, with the same name? Do you think they, whenever you fork yeah, something, a good question, they right. might come to a right. point in which they're so different that right. they might be totally different things. Right. You know what I mean? So well, that, and, and that's what Lexicos is actually fearing. He's saying like, yeah, if I continue adding stuff and I don't want to well, backport everything, at some right. point, those two things are going to be so different that they are not out of hot key. Well, you know, which one honestly, is out of hot key, you know? I'd say it's, it's the opposite. And I, I told you this before, when I was, when I was first learning Python, which was uh, 14 years ago-ish, somewhere in there, um, they were in the middle of switching from V2 to V3. And uh -huh. it went on for over a year, years, where people weren't switching to 3. And part of the problem was they kept backporting all the new functionality from 3 to 2. So it negated reasons why people would switch to 3, because... People kept making two. Do I, what I, yeah, I can do whatever you're doing yeah. in three with two. Like, why, yeah. why would it change, right? Well, yeah. and also to get back into the point of the, the three versus two, that means, holy cow, there are huge breaking point. Like, things are not backwards compatible, right? That's They're not the same, right? That's basically so, what it means, right? 
it, it's also why I, I, I'm guessing Lex Coast is making this stand now because he, he wants people. I If I were him, it's like my Windows also, right? Microsoft says, hey, we're no longer supporting. We'll even migrate people from the new older version of Windows to the current version. So they're not supporting all these different versions of Windows, right? Like it, just, it, imagine, it, just imagine that most of the future, most of the features of Windows 11 were backported to Windows 95. Yeah. Would you switch from 95? Well, yeah. Why would I? Right. Well, first off, there's features in Windows 11 that I care about. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not aware of any. Like, I really don't know what I got out of Windows 11. Yeah, like, like, me. Right. <laughs> but yeah. I, I no, but, but, but basically, that's that's the same idea. Like, there's a caught up point in which, yeah, we stopped. Right. Um, and now there's a new version. You want to use the latest features, then look at the new version. Right. And, um, at this point, I agree with Lexicos. You know, B1 should stop for many reasons. I think the main reason is Auto Hotkey community is growing not only in numbers, but also as the type of prom- pro- programs. Sure. B1, when we when I started out, most of the people in the forums were just recreational right. uh, developers in which I just need to press a hotkey and do this one thing. That's it. Now, when I look at the forums, there's a lot of people creating amazing programs in there. And I'm like, holy crap. So the language is kind of like accommodating new features that help development it, for advanced programmers, basically, yeah. right? And, so, and I think you agree with this. It It's lost a bit of its niche in that you you anybody can step into it and do stuff very, very easily, right? It's not that it's hard right. now. It just used to be really easy to do basic stuff. And now it's a little, there's a little hurdle. It's not a big one. Right. But would, for people who uh, don't code a lot, V1 is is a great solid thing to have been using because it's right. just so easy to get going, right? The um, one thing that I would say on, on that uh, general sense is hot keys and hot strings remain basically the same, which is mainly how uh, so much. you know beginners yeah, use right. a hotkey, just press a hotkey, run a program, yeah. um, type a string and get a, a hot string. Um, yeah, but that doesn't things... change almost at all. No, right? I know, but, but, but yeah. the setting of a variable and having that had to have been done, getting an editor that actually works well, like some things yeah. are a little bit of hurdles to get, get going. Right. right? By yeah, the way, we have a great course on switching from V1 to V2. So if you're not yeah. used to V2, our course, Isaiah learned V2 and then went back and said, what was the most painful? And so we made a course on <laughs> one of the things that are the gotchas that are really get you. So it's a great course. We also have a great simple tool to um, select code and hit a button and it will um, try to convert it convert. to V2. Yeah. So um, those are some good scripts, which I'll, the URLs will have been on the screen by the time we edit this. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Just remember, so V1, before, and this is what Lexico said back in 2020, December 2022, when V2 became the current version, he said then V1 is to be considered deprecated. And it right. caught us all a bit, little off guard because we were really like, what? Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> and we're like, well, and then we saw he kept updating it and updating it. We're like, okay, well, is it's this really it's deprecated. Dead, <laughs> but yeah, but he's still updating it. Um, and now it's going to be probably more like vanilla where I wonder when the last time vanilla, you know, on hockey vanilla, the 1.0, the true one. 1915, 14, I guess. Okay. So it's, Sorry, it's still, my point is it's still around, right? It's like still it, around. It's yes, still it's around. So if you're using V1 and you're happy with the way it is, it, you, 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 you it's going to be around. We're not, but if, man, yeah. if you're doing new stuff and what we also say, you tell people look in V2, there's no gain on productivity of like the, it's not yeah. more efficient when it runs. What's more efficient is your developing of the code. Unless you're an entry, entry, entry level, it takes a little bit longer to get used to it. But when you're right. creating more mid to advanced level scripts, oh my God. Or if you're working on a GUI, so much easier. Right? <laughs> I would just simply say it, state it this way. The gains that you have are totally in relationship with how much you invest at the beginning on learning. In this case, V1, easy to learn. You're very restricted. V2, it has a bigger learning curve, but the things that you can do when you're coding are such a big return that it makes sense. You know, for, for certain people like me that I'm going to spend too much, too many hours coding, then it makes sense. If you're just doing one or two 
hot keys, hot strings. Yeah, you you don't have to invest that much. You can use either, it. honestly. Right. Yeah. Again, basically, but yeah. it just gets back to the editors for V two. Even though site is still decent, it it we've seen it's it can have weird things of changing your registry or whatever, making it you know acting weird. So it's uh not necessarily perfect as it was if you want right. it was amazing it was so simple right but anyway i hope you enjoyed that video uh we try to release videos three times a week we have great courses they double your money back guarantee so there's no risk i mean we also off have sales often so wait for a sale if you want to save some money but all right thanks everyone cheers bye guys bye